In this module, we will learn about Pardot Sandbox. If you are in Pardot Sandbox or if you are learning about Pardot Sandbox, exploring the very feature, do not confuse with the Salesforce Sandbox definition or the kind of feature or flexibility we have with the Salesforce Sandbox. Pardot Sandbox mostly meant for internal training purpose or if there's something or if there is any marketing stuff you want to orchestrate it before doing it directly in the production or if you want to enable or test a particular feature before enabling directly into product production there we have product sandbox you can try and test all those things but product sandbox have certain limitations there are certain features or flexibility or you can call it functionality which are not supported in product sandbox for example b2b marketing analytics engagement history dashboard salesforce engage or email sense previews or tests are not available are not supported one of the important thing to know about product sandbox is that product sandbox product production nowhere related it means there's no way you can transfer data from sandbox to production or metadata from production to sandbox both are totally a different account so if any changes that needs to be done you need to manually do it either in production or sandbox you might be wondering how to access Pardot Sandbox. Where will get that Pardot Sandbox? So as we know, Pardot Sandbox is available as a Pardot standalone app, is available as a Pardot Lightning app, but Pardot Sandbox does not support Pardot Classic version, which will be also deprecated in the near future. So if you want to access Pardot Sandbox, you can simply go to pi.demo.pardot.com and once you click on this it will take you to login with Salesforce you'll be using your Salesforce sandbox credentials to log in and this will be a kind of view of Pardot sandbox no change look and feel while exact the same as we have in production only thing is there are some limitations and this Pardot Sandbox is designed for training or kind of testing purpose. If you try and test a particular feature before enabling it in the production. So here's the place you can do so. Similarly, Pardot Lightning app will be accessible from your Salesforce Sandbox. Once you're in your Salesforce Sandbox, you can go to the app launcher, click on view all, type in Pardot, click on the Pardot Lightning app. Once you click on the Pardot Lightning app, you will come to this Pardot Lightning app and then you can start working in here. Important thing to know or is like how many Salesforce Sandbox, sorry, how many Pardot Sandbox license do you have? So it depends on the Pardot editions that you're on, which editions you're on. If you want to check which product edition you are on, you can go to this gear icon. If you're in a standalone app, click on settings, you'll get all those details. Similarly, you can click on this product settings tab and you'll be getting details about your product account, like editions and your ID and all. So if you're on product advanced edition, then you'll be getting two free Salesforce sandbox license. If you're on product premium edition, then you'll be getting five free Product Sandbox license. So as many Product Sandbox license you have, you can activate it in your Salesforce Sandbox. Available for an additional cost in Product Plus Edition, but if you're on Product Growth, you won't be having access. If you're on Product Plus Edition, then you have to pay some extra amount, and for that, you have to or you need to connect with your Salesforce account, etc. 